Hello guys, you're welcome back to my Adobe Premiere Pro Masterclass. If you're just joining us, you're welcome. My name is Mo King. I'm a freelance videographer slash video editor. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the process of using keyframes to lower audio and lower background music in your footage. For example, here guys, I have a footage of a B-roll at the beginning, followed by a talking head freestyle video, and then some B-rolls again at the end of the video. So let me go ahead and unmute this. So the only problem we have here is that we have this music that is overshadowing the freestyle talking head video over here so we cannot really hear what she's saying because the background music is louder than her audio but we need the background music for the b-rolls at the beginning and at the end of the video so let me go ahead and play this so you can see what it looks like okay all right guys so that video was so loud that video was so loud i'm sorry about that you want to take a look at your meter over here it's important that you do not allow your audio to exceed the 12 the minus 12 mark over here so what i'm going to do is select this audio and then i'm going to reduce this down to minus six let's take a look at that now okay so the problem with this right now is that the background music is still flowing louder than her you don't want the background music to be overshadowing the freestyle video so what you need to do at this position is you want to come over to the beginning of the clip here, somewhere close to where she's about to start speaking. Okay, so she started speaking here. So I'll just go back. I'll go back to this position here, select this clip here, and at this position here, I'm going to add a keyframe. So at this position here, at this position here, the video is already at minus 7.6 decibel, but it's still very loud. I need it to go lower so that I can hear what she's saying over here. So I'm going to move directly to where she started speaking, which is here. And then I'm going to reduce the sound from minus 7 to minus 30. And then I'm going to hear what it sounds like. So for you, it might not be minus 30. It depends on the audio level of the track that you are working with. So I'll go back right now and give it a play to hear what it sounds like. Oh my gosh, it was an amazing experience. Okay, so you can see what happened right there. The background music went down immediately and then it was possible for us to hear her sound better. But the only issue I have with this is that it went in too fast. So I'm going to drag this other keyframe a little bit to the left so that we can have a gradual fade in. So let me come back here now and start from this position to hear what it sounds like. All right, so you can see now that was actually much better. So if we take it to the end, the only problem I foresee is that at this position, when she finished talking, yeah, this is amazing. Thank you. when she finished talking, the sound is not going to go back up because Premiere Pro is recognizing the last keyframe here as being minus 30.2. So what you want to do is to come back to some seconds before she left. And then you add another keyframe here to tell Premiere Pro that at this position, I want it to remain at minus 30.2. Then you now move exactly to where the new clip begins, and then maybe just a second after it, then you will now increase your keyframe from minus 30.2 back to the minus seven, or minus 6.7. So let's give it a play to hear what it sounds like now. All right, guys, so that was a better feel. That was a better feel, so we can, Give it a play now from the beginning to the end to hear what it actually sounds like. Because without them, this would not be possible. And I think this should be actually done more often because, gosh, I mean, 
I even got to climb. Like I got to climb. I have not done that before, and that's really amazing. And that's what you get when you work with an amazing company, really. So yeah, this is amazing. Thank you. All right, guys. So you can see how the audio picked back up. Can you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you've not already done that? And don't forget to drop your feedbacks in the comment section. Thank you, guys.